Hello, James here, Robertson Family Racing Pigeons. Hope this finds everybody well. Um, thank you everyone for uh, your support. I really appreciate those who have already subscribed to the channel and follow. And uh, it's great to um, converse with you guys through the comments, get your opinions and ideas, and also be able to share some of my ideas I have as well to some of your questions. So I'm shipping the last few late hatches today from that original bunch so I'm feeding them this was the second time I've feeding them today so this is an afternoon feeding um, and the point here is to get them to eat so that they'll get a drink it'd be great for them to go with a full crop of food but they especially need that full crop of liquid and this time they're going out to California so we had one shipment go out to California last week but yeah, we got some good birds going. That black one right there is gonna be going. A few others. But it is hot, hot, hot today. Over the 4th of July weekend, it was fairly cool actually, which was fantastic. Loved that. Usually you just go outside this time of year and you're instantly dripping and sticky and sweaty, but you know, we had a little reprieve, which was nice. That one's another one that's going to be going. He looks to have a full crop. Really like that one. That's been one of my favorites from the beginning. 4140. Like that guy. Anyways. Hope everyone is doing well. Thanks for coming back to the channel, as always. Really appreciate your support. Got this round of youngsters from Cup of Joe and Black Widow. Had them sitting out. This little black and white one got out was out for three or four days on its own just hanging around the neighborhood but without food and water so it's a little bit skinny but I've had him back for a day and a half now it's already bouncing back pretty well but yeah these guys are gorgeous gorgeous birds now they just need to learn to drop through that trap door guys you guys can do it get in there really like both of them hey the blue bar especially blue bar pied handles really nicely Meanwhile, got these guys feeding. Hey guys. You guys, you guys still hungry? You need a little bit more? And feeding them a mix of Versalaga Black Label and also the Versalaga Energy Plus. Energy Plus, of course, is a lighter mix. You can see here, it has a lot of the oily seeds, like the safflower and white, a lot of sunflowers, sorry, sunflower seeds, and uh, that's barley there. And as I'm just holding that handful in my hand, it's light, it's not heavy. And it's, so it's also light in their crop. So when you hear, Breeders talk about you got to feed them light when they're training for races. This is the kind of stuff that they're talking about. Stuff that digests pretty quickly. It's not heavy in their crop. They're going to fly and train well on this stuff. Plus, and I'll do another video on this, but actually birds um, get their energy differently than um, humans do. 
so for humans, when we carb load before a marathon race, that's what we're doing, we're getting carbs. But birds don't uh, utilize carbs in the same way. In fact, their energy comes from fats. They burn fats. And so instead of carb loading, you fat load, basically. There's a lot of scientific papers on that that I've studied and read. I'll have to do a, another post on that with a little more detail and uh, provide references. But yeah, these guys are doing well. So I have one or two old birds, like this blue banded bird up front. That one's Fester Jiggins. There are the two um, Reed Curie birds and two seven eight birds right there in front. Come on, guys. A little bit more. Come on. But again, I like to hand feed them because it keeps them tame. They're up close to me. They get used to me. And that's important. I like that in young birds. I don't like wild birds. It drives me batty. 278 is actually kind of a wild bird. When I walk into his, his section, he just starts flying around. And it drives me batty. Good birds. Good birds, guys. Good job. Chug that water. It's hot today. Chug, lug, lug. Hey dog. Hi dog. You doing your job? Huh? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Good dog, good dog, good dog. Yes, good dog. Here they are. About to be shipped. Just grabbed them after they were fed. I'm gonna go take them inside to my basement where it's cool. I'll transfer them to their shipping box after topping off their crop with a little extra fluids. All right guys, say hi to sunny California. Robertson Family Racing Pigeons, represent us well. Okay, so I had my birds all boxed up, ready to go. And they were just fighting and fighting and it's three cocks. So I decided I'm going to do something different. Um, these boxes come with dividers and so I'm going to go ahead and undo my beautiful work with uh, the little dish for the food and the little dish cup for the water and instead give them each their own separate compartment. Um, their crops were really full of food and I pumped each one with about nine to 10 milliliters of water with a tiny bit of neutral drops added. So they should be good for a day in the mail. So here we go. So there's the divider. And again, I just don't want them fighting and fighting and fighting because I think that that will really wear them out make them dehydrated and uh, it's pretty hot this time of year. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put that divider in, clip that, clip 
that. Oh, I feel like I'm getting new pigeons. What did I get here? Can't wait to see these guys. looking at me hey you guys you guys are just fighting way too much we're gonna separate you yes we are we don't want you guys expending that much energy all right here we go okay so this is what it looks like there they are Good luck, birds. You guys are gonna do great. Adios. Got these guys out on the trap again. Gotta do it every day until I let them out for the first time, which will probably be tomorrow. They're starting to go through the trap on their own well enough. They know how it works. They've had time. Just sitting on the landing board here, resting, getting a good look at their surroundings. And so I think tomorrow's gonna be the day. All right, in the meantime, we'll let the other youngsters out. Right, you guys actually I haven't let them out for a long time it's been a solid week probably all right let's go fly let's go fly come on come on come on let's go fly go fly go fly Off a little bit, which is great. All right, you guys. Come on. Good birds, and they're off. All right, I just put the food down. Those youngsters just landed up there. We're gonna now let these guys enter into the trap on their own. Hopefully they will do so. This is always a little bit tricky. That's looking good, looking good, looking good, looking good. turned. You can do it, little guy. Go on. Let's go see those other ones that just went in. Good job. Good job, you three. The other two old birds were already in here. Awesome. They're ready to be let out. Watson stalking the bunny. There's the bunny. Will he get to it? I don't think there's a chance. Watson, you're not gonna get that little bunny. Who's gonna make the first move? 
The bunny makes the first move. And handily gets away. Good try, Watson.